welcome back to my channel. It's Lisa, Best Life Lee. So today it is a wintry, snowy day outside. It's a Sunday afternoon and there's really not a lot going on. So I have decided to tackle my kitchen cabinets and get them organized and get them neatened out and pared down. Um, as you can see, I have started with this part of the kitchen. I have the before pictures that you saw in the intro of all my cabinets and what they look like. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by putting everything that's the same, bowls, strainers, pans, um, everything like that together. And that way I can determine what I want to keep and where I'm going to store them. And I'd like to store all the same things together just to make life easy and to make room in my cabinets because there's nothing worse than wanting something and it's underneath a bunch of stuff and you have to move everything out so that you can get to what you want. So I'm going to try to make my kitchen easier to work in and more efficient. So um, just come along with me. I'll show you as I start to put things away and I'll show you how everything, once I get everything out of the cabinets, how it's all sort of in little piles together. And I also have a couple of boxes. Um, I figure there will be things that I don't want to keep. I will just put them in boxes to donate um, at a later date. But for now, I'm just going to get started in emptying everything out. Now, I do have two huge junk drawers. I am not sure I'm going to get to them in today's video, but I will definitely do a video organizing junk drawers in another, at another time. Um, so anyways, let's get started. I'm going to stop at the spices and the oils and things like that for now. I just don't have the room right now to deal with those. I have everything so. out of the top cabinets. So I'm going to work there first and then move down to the lower cabinets because I don't have any more space to take anything out. But I think the lower cabinets all have like stuff in them so I can deal with them separately. As you can see, I have a ton of coffee mugs. Like, what do I, what am I thinking? Like, I am, you know, I have a house full of people that need these coffee mugs. So I'm going to definitely pare that down. And my glasses, I have a ton of glasses too. There's only two of us in the house. We're definitely not using these glasses on a regular basis. So I'm going to pare that down, give myself some more room. I have stuff that I don't use very often, like gravy boats and vases. Those are going to get new homes. Gonna... So, so I'm going to think about what makes sense, how I use things. Like the coffee mugs should probably be near the coffee maker. That makes sense to me. Um, glasses can be right near the sink somewhere, maybe on the other side. My open um, shelves, I'm going to do a system of airtight containers for like all my flour and sugar and all of that stuff and I'm going to 
get that into my open shell. So I'm just going to try to figure out where everything's going to go and we will see how everything comes out. But again, I'm going to try to do things more efficient and, you know, what makes sense, what I'm using around the stove most often when I'm cooking, you know, what makes sense rather than just everything has a place and just close the door and don't think about it. So, so wish me luck. So I'm going to get ready to fill my jars and I have these labels that I got from Amazon and I'm going to look for like the first thing I'm going to put in a jar of my walnuts. So I have a walnuts um, label. So I'm um, just going to start filling those up and getting those organized. And I picked up these little wooden scoops to put in my jars. It comes with a set of six. And I'm just going to put these in my jars so I can use these to scoop. I'm getting pooped. I got a long way to go still, but I have gotten a lot done as well. I got all of my jars labeled and filled. So now I am going to be transferring my olive oil into that olive oil container. I'm just going to wash it out and I'm going to put my stuff like my baking powder, my baking soda into the little um, plastic containers. I'm just going to wash these and then I'm going to put that stuff in my cupboard, in my pantry closet here. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to put everything away. Um, 
sort of get things, like I said, like with like and make my cabinets a little more user friendly. <laughs> so I'm still going at it guys. All right guys, so I finished all of this in one afternoon for the top cabinets and I put everything kind of together, bowls and I have some vases up on the top um, of this cabinet and then I tried to put all my dishes and smaller bowls together to give it some uniformity but also some you know it's practical when I go for something they're all gonna be there I ended up putting the glasses on this side of the sink and I did get rid of quite a few and then this cabinet kind of has some coffee things some aspirin some sugar some baking soda and baking powder and then I have my coffee mugs and I really did pare down quite a bit. I didn't get to my spices or my oils, but I did use this upper cabinet for the less frequently used items like pitchers and gravy boats and things like that. Um, the focus is out here and not sure why, but you can see that all of my glass airtight containers are all filled and labeled. They look very neat and they are very functional with all of the things that I use on a regular basis that will be at my fingertips. My coffee, my cereal, and pasta, shells. So these containers and you can see I have my scoops in there and I will be able to just get what I need when I need it and I've cleaned off my counters trying to make things um, less cluttered. I have my wooden spoons and my coffee maker, my toaster, my little bread basket there and this is where we do our coffee in the morning but I also used this little three-tier tray to just put some tea and some tea things and give it a little bit of a decorative look as well I'm just using my magnolia press cup to hold some tea and it's functional but it also looks cute and I put a couple of little things up at the top. I did have to unscrew the top part of that three-tiered tray just to get it to fit under there but I got to use some things that I think are cute but it really is functional. I ended up doing the bottom cabinets on a different day. It was just way too much to do in one day. So I will show you that in pictures at the end of this video. And when you undertake a project like this, you should definitely give yourself a treat when you're done because, you know, it, it gives you something to look forward to. So my treat was Chinese food, which we thoroughly enjoyed at the end of this project. So I'm going to show you some photographs of how everything came out. Um, I did as I said, do the bottom cabinets on a different day because it was just too much to do in one day. If you do wanna see a video of a junk draw declutter and organization, let me know in the comments and I will definitely share that project with you. So enjoy the after photos. Thanks so much for watching and coming along. I will see you in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye for now.